Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So this is a quick video on Playwright installation on Mac machine as well. If you are using Apple MacBook, exactly same process that you have to follow. Here, only difference is that the folder structure is uh, different. Uh, Playwright here, you simply go to this and uh, go to the browsers and then you slightly scroll it down and uh, here you will see that on Mac machine, the, all the binaries will be download it in this particular directory so i'll do one thing i'll just copy this directory path and i'll go to my command prompt or terminal and then i'll change the directory right now this ms playwright is not available inside the cache folder see it's not there it's saying no such file or directory because when you run the program first time then only this microsoft playwright directory will be created so i'll do one thing i'll just go up to uh, cache folder only okay and then here you can check that uh, you don't have any ms playwright folder in this particular directory okay now let me just clear this and this is the code that i have already written this is the maven project and under this particular maven project your format xml file that i have already uh, written this is the playwright dependency and then this is my so playwright will give you only four jar files that's it very limited jars and this is the demo.java that is uh, i've already created now what you do is that in this particular demo.java, the first time program that we have written, let me just update the project also. Simply just update the project and then I'm going to run this program and let's see if we start downloading the binaries in this particular directory. Directory means it will uh, create this MS Playwright uh, folder and let's see it is going there or not. So let's see, run as Java application and i'll just open the console first time it takes some time so here you can see that nothing is getting printed so it takes some time but by the time the first it will create the ms playwright folder so let me just uh, go to cd um, ms playwright see it's now it's coming and then you can check the content of uh, this as well here you can see that it's yeah the binaries are getting downloaded now and same binaries firefox chromium and the webkit it will start downloading and after some time it will start giving you the logs also here exactly same thing the only thing is that the the folder will be different same thing in linux it will be there in your uh, home directory cache and then ms playwright folder will be created so that's it that's the only thing that you need to check here you can check again uh, take some time to download so now as you can see that uh, the playwright chromium binary is downloaded you can see under my Naveen automation labs library cache folder ms playwright and this is the chromium binary same thing it's uh, using ffm tag also so here you can quickly cross check ls hyphen alt you can see see this uh, chromium binary getting i mean it's already downloaded here and then it will start uh, downloading your uh, firefox as well as webkit as well Okay, now you can see the webkit also perfectly fine and the, the Firefox is getting launched and then it's entering google.com and everything is working fine here because I'm using Firefox here. If you really want to use some other, let's say I want to use Chromium. Now you can quickly cross check. I'm running in the uh, without headless mode uh, with the head port. So let's quickly run it and let's see. Now it will be fast because now it will not check the binary to download and then yeah simple google.com and then enter google that's it so this is the installation from the uh, directly from here when you run the program first time now i'll do one thing let me just quickly check uh, let me just clear this and then i'll go back to the previous directory let me delete this ms playwright one more time so i'm just going to delete that uh, ms playwright okay so this is deleted now you can see that i don't have any uh, see ms playwright it's not available see i'm not getting it so now I'll be uh, executing from the command. So let's see, I'll simply say that uh, uh, running from here. So you can just copy this, see all supported browser. And then it will start downloading all the binaries directly. So, but that you have to execute in the, because it needs a Maven and you need to go to the Maven directory. So that's why I'm going to the project directory here. So this is my project directory. You just simply right click, go to properties and copy this path, whatever the prompt project that you have created the maven project that you have created go to this path 
so here you can see this is my path here and then after that you just execute this command and then it will start again downloading all the binaries in the same folder now by the time you can see that uh, the cd ms playwright see it's there and then you can cross check yeah it started and here it's saying downloading chromium here right exactly same thing we did in the windows machine also same thing you have to do in your mac also so there are other things as well when you go to the browser section so this is the installation thing that they have uh, uh, given and then they have given that uh, when running the script uh, you can override the default behavior using environment variable you can do some uh, changes in your environment variable uh, you can ask to download the browser into a specific location if you really want to change the location instead of the default location we just need to add this particular environment variable that also you can do that and then along with that you have to execute maven test that also you can do that when running the playwright script ask it to search for the browser in a shared location that is the shared location path that you have to give if you want to do that that also you can handle the firewall on a proxy also uh, whenever you are running your uh, playwright test cases with the payment you need to give the HTTP as proxy so that it will uh, check the proxy in the firewall and then uh, then only it will start downloading uh, the binaries because might be possible in your company that firewall in the proxy is a stopping the firewall is stopping the downloading thing okay in your company network so in that case you have to give the proxy server url here like that okay so here now you can see that it's uh, almost done with the firefox also it's getting downloaded and uh, chrome also already done and same thing you can cross check here and then we will quickly try to uh, run it once again so i'll just check the ls you can see uh, chromium is already there and fm tag is already there i think it's downloading uh, the webkit now and the firefox is already done so let me just check that okay perfect so now everything is fine here you can see the binaries are again uh, available here you can see webkit firefox and the chromium perfect now you can cross check you can just quickly run your program from here and uh, let's see it's launching chromium with google.com so here you can see chromium google.com and that's it i'm closing the window and then getting the title printing it on the console that's it so that's all for this particular video from the next video onward we will try to cover uh, more and more features of playwright and then we will see one end to end framework also with ms playwright thank you so much guys thanks for watching navin automation labs please subscribe to the channel share the series with others who are looking for the a new automation tool that is playwright for the learning i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all